you're not going to believe what I've got in my milk crate. Stay tuned. I won't keep you in suspense. What I've got in here is a nice small kayak cart that's good up to a certain point on most kayaks. Here are the wheels and back here hanging off the end is the cart itself. And it pulls together very easily. You have these two quick connects. One on each wheel. And now I'm ready to load up my kayak and get going. The cart comes with a long strap that you use to attach this to the bottom of your kayak. Let's talk about the cart for a minute and then we'll get into where it is best applied and the limitation I've discovered on it. So the first thing to note, which is obvious because I pulled it out of my milk crate, is that it is compact, it's foldable, and you can assemble and disassemble it easily. It's got some thick foam pads on the top to protect the hull of your kayak and the aluminum is pretty sturdy. It's made out of two millimeter thick aluminum tubing. And the tires are 10 inch tires and they're 3.1 inches wide. So that brings us to the first limitation of this. This is not a kayak cart you're gonna use on loose sand, but everywhere else, turf, hard pack, asphalt, getting from your truck to the uh, boat launch, it's all gonna work just fine. It has a kickstand to assist with the uh, launch that's going to go down and keep this stabilized while you put your kayak on top. So now here's the other limitation. This is a small cart and I tried using it on my huge Jackson Cusa FD and although the weight limit of this is 250 pounds, my Cusa was just too wide for this. The hull shape on my Cusa is kind of odd and it wouldn't really sit uh, on top of this frame. But my Tarpon Wilderness 135 right here, it's, it works just fine. So let me show you how that works. There's a trick to running the strap because the strap isn't long enough to do it like they say in the directions to go around all four corners. So what you do is you run it through the middle here and then what you want to do is run it this way and that way when the tension is on it's going to press this up and then we do the same thing over here on the other side. Now when there's tension on here you can see that the straps are locked down and now this will prevent this from collapsing because the tension's on the rear one if you back up. Let me show you.
that's all there is to this inexpensive kayak cart. I recommend it for any kayak that's less than 32 inches wide and has a fairly even hull shape on the bottom. And it's transportable. Fit in my milk crate just fine. Comments? Have you had experience with this? Throw it down below. Thanks.